take a wife. Thank you, Mama. Because you, you, you are you are thin, women in science only have among it connected it well. You said you said you cannot be a scientist unless you went through primary school and you went through secondary school and you went to university. But I want to go further back. You may not even go to the primary school if the home does not have income and food security. Because even when we say the government pays that the children should study free in the government schools, you hear them say that children are coming at school without food now. Uh -huh. So now, then these greedy teachers and their headmasters 
start now collecting the money from people who have no food. If you have no food, where will you get money from? You must have lunch, lunch money. The issue of lunch should be solved at home. So you cannot have this woman will not be a scientist or you will not get many of them, you will get a few, but it is easier if the whole society comes up, gets out of non-money economy into money economy, then you will be able to get more, more scientists, both men and, and, and women. So talk holistically, don't talk partially. You cannot maintain backwardness and somehow you get a few scientists and you think they will help the situation. You must have the general transformation of the society. Will the welfare families pay for the girl child to study or not? Show me a daughter or a son of a rich man that has dropped out of school on account of not being able to pay the school costs. Families getting out of poverty is a good base of solving other problems. Yes, you may get greedy men who get rich and abandon their wives and children. The question is, are they really rich? Or are, or are they just having some little money while previously they had nothing? Otherwise, if the families are rich, the courts of the state can even discipline irresponsible husbands to share wealth with their spouses. If the husband is rich but irresponsible, the, the wife will go to court and the, the court will, 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 will force the husband to give to give a share to the wife. But if, if it is a, an irresponsible poor husband, what will the court force him to share? Say, so go back and share poverty. So please, don't mix up issues. Don't start on the top of the house, start from the base. The base, the whole society must get, come out of, of backwardness. And then all these other refinements will, will, will take place. How will the courts force a poor husband to share poverty with his poor wife and children? Families getting out of poverty is a good first step. In any case, the NRM has got specific programs for the specific segments of the population, women, youth, disabled. This is always catered for under the different funds, PDM, MYOGA, youth, and women funds previously. The massive involvement in the four acres model and the extensive agriculture assisted by UDB will generate a large quantity of raw materials for the agro-processing factories to handle. As an example, you have seen on the screen that in Kiruhurakazu area, you have a total of 284 cooling tanks, and in the Kiruhurakazu Mbara area, you have two big factories processing 800 liters of milk per day. Agriculture, therefore, stimulates industry. What is true of milk is true of tea. There are 27 tea factories in the western region of Uganda. Therefore, all Ugandans stop excuses. It is possible to get out of poverty. The people in the Cattle Corridor had got out of poverty through the dairy industry guided by the NRM. They are now sliding back because of the residual cultural backwardness. We are also fighting that. You can all get out of poverty.